Hey guys, Jamie here from the Butch Harmon School of Golf Dubai with a quick piece of advice to teach you how to release the golf club with your bunker shot. When it comes to bunker shots, what we often see is that people try to guide the ball in the air by leaning their spine back away from the target. The other common flaw tends to be as they do this, they'll really try and hold the handle forward hold some sort of loft in the golf ball and the result tends to be a very heavy or even a knifed thin shot through the green. What I'd much rather see is as the club approaches the ball that it actually passes my hands out so the hands don't win the race, the hands don't pass the golf ball first, the club actually catches up, passes the hands and releases through the shot. So what I'm going to do to get this feeling is I'm going to start off with a right hand only drill. So with the right hand only drill what I'm going to do is swing it with just my right hand, make a pretty full swing and hopefully what will happen is the club will pass my hands out and release nicely through the shot. One of the things I don't want to see is as that club approaches the ball I don't want to see the butt of the club winning the race, passing my hands out and pointing left of my hip. Let's give it a go. Right hand only, normal setup, big swing. Pretty nice results. And what you'll find is by getting that release, by allowing the club to pass your hands, the bounce of the club hits the sand first and it slides nicely under the ball. So then when I'm in my normal swing, when I've got my two hands back on the golf club, what I want to make sure of is that I want to feel like the club head again passes my hands. If I was to do it with a grip downswing, I never want to see the butt of the club coming up opposite my left hip. I want to see it release back towards the center of my body. Let's give that one a go. Again, pretty good result, so I'm quite happy with that. So really try hard to allow that club to release past your hands. That'll give you a little extra loft, and it will allow the bounce of the club to strike the sand first, producing a more consistent impact.